talking about you, Blue. Your thoughts? You sure know how to show a girl a good time. Your thoughts? Humanity has fallen so since the bombs. Your thoughts? I wonder what has happened elsewhere. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical? Less extreme? More? Your thoughts? We must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. Your thoughts? Please, let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. It is, of course, for science. That's all for now. Not a problem. Let us continue our journeys.
This place is off limits. Move along. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. St I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick! Thank God! You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Mm. Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm... In a white room, people are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that mm. we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. See if you can find any of Kasumi's personal effects. Anything to give us a clue to where she went. 
project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but... Then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean... I've always felt off. Like, I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So, the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this Far Harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Ta right. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here... Please. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Fine, Kasumi. Please.
Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! What the hell? Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! <laughs> Bringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. You do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Katie is not too far now. And we've arrived. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. 
you ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. You got a second. Hey, you have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now. But when you hear me story, you might regret it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl? I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you could say that would ever change that. Oh. Uh, mm. I... well... That's... that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry. I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you. You'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you, too. is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. 
I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... Mm. I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here, on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then, they come out later, looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. But, it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck, and... Come back as soon as you found anything. A moment, please. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. And do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. It's all right. I'm here for you. Thank you. That means so much. Becoming a synth is just so overwhelming. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. Mm. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. You make it look so effortless, like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world, not so sure. But you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel ah! very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes. They are malfunctioning. Adieu. Please, let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. It is, of course, for science. Hey, Piper. You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Took you this long to notice, huh? No, I, I didn't mean like... 
I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. All right. What's the issue? I'm just terrified she's going to start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat. Paper girl, an all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? You really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, ah! yeah, I guess, but I thought, I thought so, unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you want to hit the road? Well, I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking but you. All right. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me about Far Harbor, the children of Adam? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my... It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've... Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. Fresh meat, crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. Ugh, the cannibals? We survive. What if it's a Meyer lurk man? Hey, that would be a great name for a superhero. Leave or die. You're dead. <laughs>
again in my head, and... What you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Seriously? One bookcase, not even some teeth? No, but now, now you can't even tell where the hole was. Brick, real mortar, the works. All because of the paper. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, the friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you... For being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... Ah! I mean... <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well... Hmm. <clears throat> Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting.
explosion. It was you, wasn't it? You used something in Dima's memories to destroy the children of Adam. The island's gonna be a lot safer with that cult gone. You're okay with that? Deciding who lives and who dies? I don't know if I could have made that choice. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me, to bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was all right, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. Kasumi, please listen to me. You're not a synth. You're the real Kasumi. You're their daughter. That's the thing, isn't it? Now I'll never really know. That idea is always going to be there, somewhere in the back of my mind. But you're right. I'm real enough, aren't I? Maybe that's all anyone can be sure of. I need to start packing, and I should start saying goodbye to everyone. Thank you for everything. Maybe I'll see you back in the Commonwealth? Oh my god! My baby is okay! Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Happy to do it, Kenji. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. I'll never forget this. Kasumi, does this mean... you know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry, I was just so confused. I wanted to go somewhere, anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer. But my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. You don't need to do that. You keep your father's collection. For your family. Thank you. Perhaps we'll need it someday. God knows plenty has happened to us already. Thank you again. Kasumi is home, and I'll make sure Kenji gives Thank you some space to breathe. For everything. We're a family again. This is how it should be. The plan. Nick. In this line of work, you have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. Turned out to be quite an adventure. Yeah, a whole island trying to kill us. He is hoping the next case just takes us to some dingy bar. I could use a slow one. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. You're pretty distracting yourself. <laughs> I had a point. A reason. Oh, yes. My control of humans is worse than before. And you, you are no help. <laughs> With your TV, your school, little girl. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Because... You're so cute when you're confused. You are not making mm. any of this easier, you? Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance.
enhance my experiments. Your thoughts? I notice that other people stare at me. Is there something wrong with my backside? Your thoughts? So much to experience and feel. How can I fit it all in one lifetime? Nothing else I needed. Not a problem. Let us continue our journeys. Thank <laughs> you.